हेलो चिल्ड्रन इन टूडेज मैथ्स क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वेर यू हैव टू एक्सप्रेस सेंटीमीटर इन मीटर एंड किलोमीटर इफ यू कंपेयर सेंटीमीटर विथ मीटर एंड किलोमीटर सेंटीमीटर इज स्मॉलर इन कंपेरिजन टू मीटर एंड किलोमीटर राइट सो just not to get confused whether to divide with 100 or divide uh, multiply with 100 while moving from smaller unit to bigger unit you have to divide right otherwise you can make two parts just you have to take the unit into which you are going to convert and the unit which is given as a question to be converted right here centimeter has to be converted in meter and then in kilometer so first let's take centimeter and meter what's the value of 1 meter if you compare meter with centimeter then it's 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter here you can see i have written i have made two parts 1 meter 100 centimeter then how many centimeter is given to you 5 centimeter right under the centimeter part 5 cm is equal to how many meters so you can see you have to divide cross when you cross multiply you can see 5 ones are 5 multiplied by 1 divided by 100 so easily without any confusion you come to know what you have to do whether you have to multiply or divide with so 5 divided by 100 you have two zeros in the denominator so what will you do when you are dividing any whole number with uh, 100 then you have to see you have to put the decimal point from you have to start from right hand side after two digit because two zeros are there 100 has two zeros so two decimal places should be there in the answer so i'll write y five first and then i'll count the place from behind from right hand side 1 2 now we don't have two digits over here this number consists only one digit so 5 one digit and the missing digit for the second decimal place i'm going to put zero in front of 5 remember you are not going to put zero at the back or left hand side of 5 but towards the right hand side of 5 you will compensate the missing decimal place so 1 2 and then you put the point so 5 0 0.0 so 0.05 meter what will you write the unit you will write meter at the back of the digit okay so answer is 0.05 meter now same 5 cm has to be converted in kilometer so our two parts will be centimeter and kilometer let's see 1 kilometer is equal to 1 lakh centi meter 1 km is equal to 1 lakh cm now how many cm do we have 5 so i will write below cm column 5 cm same way smaller unit to bigger unit we are converting so 5 divided by 1 lakh so i have only one digit and how many decimal places should be there after point 1 2 3 4 5 5 zeros so 5 so i have one digit so how many more zeros you have to put in the right hand side towards the right hand side of 5 4 so you can see four zeros i have placed in front of 5 and so total decimal places after point will be 1 2 3 4 5 5 so 0.00005 km you need not count this zero which is placed in in the place of integer which we have put in the place of integer before decimal point the zero which we have put it is by default it has to be written like that okay so we have expressed um, centimeter into meter and kilometer okay sum number 1 of question number 3 we did it similarly we have to do the second sum of question number 3 so here we are with question number sum number 2 of question number 
but the unit here is little different here you have to com convert millimeter into centimeter then into meter and finally into kilometer so here you can see same way but the comparison between the two units are little different your millimeter has to be compared with centimeter one centimeter which is a bigger unit in comparison to millimeter one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter okay now how many millimeters we have to convert into centimeter 35 so 35 millimeter we will divide by 10 okay and so as i told you one zero and so when we convert this fraction in decimal form we'll see how many zeros are there in the denominator place one zero so after decimal point there should be one decimal place we have two digit number 35 so from right hand side i will count one place and put the decimal point one and then i'll put point over here so it's going to be 3.5 now you can see one meter is equal to thousand millimeter because one meter is equal to 100 centimeter and one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter so in all one meter is equal to 1000 millimeter 10 into 100 gives you 1000 now what did i do i divided 35 by 1000 as per the rule converting a smaller unit into bigger you have to divide right 35 divided by 1000 two digit number it is but we have three zeros in the denominator place so there should be in all three decimal places after decimal point so to compensate that decimal place missing decimal place what i am going to do i am going to put zero so 0 0.035 meter right now the final one millimeter into kilometer here we'll be dividing 35 by 10 lakhs okay because one kilometer is equal to 10 lakh millimeter so how many zeros finally we have six zeros so six decimal places should be there two are already there so four places are missing so we will put four zeros towards the right hand side of 35 and then you put the decimal point so 0 0.00035 kilometer is that clear to you so converting smaller unit into bigger unit or uh, bigger to smaller is not that difficult only the thing is that you have to remember the comparison between the uh, two units okay here we move on to question number four express in kg you can see in the first sum gram has to be converted to kg then gram again into kg then we have kilogram and gram to be converted into kg okay there are several ways of doing it but here you can see what i have done you are free to choose the method you need not stick to the method i have showed you or i am showing you okay see look here 200 gram and we know 1 kg gram and kilogram when we compare they belong to mass okay both the units are of mass so on comparing 1 kg with the gram we have 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram so as usual two parts kg and gram 1 kg 1000 gram and 200 gram we will not write under kg but we will write under gram converting smaller to bigger unit so we will divide 200 by 1000 zeros we cut two zeros from numerator and denominator cut actually it's 2 multiplied by 100 and it is 10 multiplied by 100 we have 100 as a common uh, factor so we just cancel out 100 from both the numbers and so we have 2 and 10 you need not 
go into those confusing calculation so when we have zeros at the back in the numerator and denominator we just cut it so we have cancelled it and what is remaining is 2 from the numerator and 10 from the denominator so 2 by 10 so what are we going to do 1 0 so 1 decimal place so 0 0.2 what's the unit we have to write kg because we have to express it in kilogram move on to the next number 3470 gram if i can tell you in one step only you can do it how many places how many places do you require for gram 3 because 1000 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram and we require 3 decimal places after the point so from behind I will count 1 2 3 and I will put the point over here and so what will be my answer it will be 3.470 kg understood I can directly write because I know 1000 three zeros are there so from right hand side of the number I have to count three decimal place and put the point same thing you can do it over here directly one two three point so zero point two zero zero so three point four seven zero kg because it's only in grams okay 3470 grams here through 100 200 grams so directly we can do it here we have 4 kg 8 gram 4 kg 8 gram and uh, you can see i have separated 8 gram we have only one digit whereas in grams we require 3 digits so what am i going to do 4 kg it's okay 4 will be written before the decimal point that is 4 will take up the integer place so 4 integer that is 4 point how many places are required after decimal point 3 places and we have only one digit in gram place so 8 by 1000 that is the traditional way of doing it 8 upon 1000 that's equal to 0 0.008 4 plus 0 0.008 gives you 4.008 kg or else you can write 4 point 2 decimal places missing so after point immediately we will put 2 zeros and then we will put 8 4.008 kg now move on to next question write the following decimal numbers in expanded form very simple it is 20.03 20 here 2 is in tens place so 2 multiplied by 10 plus 0 is in ones place so 0 multiplied by 1 plus after point the number immediately after the decimal point takes up the tenths place tenths not tenths place it is tenths that is 1 upon 10 so 0 multiplied by 1 upon 10 then plus 3 multiplied by 1 upon 100 it holds hundredths place so 20 plus these things these numbers become 0 so you can write directly 20 plus 3 by 100 this is the expanded form of 20.03 expanded form of 20.03 move on to next one 2.03 2 holds ones place so 2 multiplied by 1 then plus 0 multiplied by 1 by 10 plus 3 multiplied by 1 by 100 move on to the next step 2 plus 3 by 100 because this becomes 0 okay similarly we have carried out for the third and fourth expanded form okay and uh, now we move on to 
in the sixth question write the place value of 2 in the following decimal numbers you have to mention the place value of 2 only okay so here you have to you have to search out 2 in all the uh, numbers so in first case 2.56 so what's the place value of 2 place value of 2 is just 2 because it holds 1's place 2 1's are 2 here 2 holds the 10's place so 20 you need not look at this you only have to uh, see the digit before the decimal point 20 it holds 10's place so it's 20 now here in this case 2 holds the 10's after decimal point that is 10th place so 2 multiplied by 1 by 10 gives you 2 upon 10 here 2 holds the 100th place so 2 upon 100 and here it holds the 1000th place so 2 by 1000 so that's how you are going to answer question number 6 writing the place value of 2 in the given decimal numbers we have come to the last part of the exercise and that is word problems question number eight and question number nine shama bought five kg 300 gram apples and three kg 250 gram mangoes so two fruits shama has purchased now we move on to the next person sarla she bought 4 kg 800 gram oranges and 4 kg 150 gram bananas. Who bought more fruits? Both the girls have purchased fruits and that too, two, two fruits each, two types of fruits each. Shama, apple and mangoes and Sarla, oranges and bananas. So, we have to find out who has purchased more fruits. So, in that case, what will you do? You will add up the fruits purchased by Syama and then you will add up the fruits purchased by Sarla and then you will compare both the sum, both the totals. Okay. So, total fruits bought by Syama, calculate 5.30, I have converted 3 kg, sorry, 5 kg, 300 gram in decimal I have expressed in decimal form, decimal number. So, kg goes before the decimal point and grams goes after the decimal point. 5.300 kg apples and uh, 3.250 kg mangoes. When you add it, you get addition is as simple as the other whole numbers we add. So, 8.550 kg fruits. Syama has purchased. Now, similarly, we will move on for the total quantity of fruits purchased by Sarla. 8.950 kg fruits. Reading of decimal numbers. Remember, we do not read like this. 8.950 kg. No, it is wrong way of reading. After the decimal point, we read the digits individually. It is like this 8.950 kg okay it's now 8.950 kg fruits now you compare 8.550 is bigger or 8.950 is bigger so 8.950 is larger than 8.550 so sarla has purchased more fruits in comparison to Shama. So, you have got the answer to the question asked to you in question number 8. Now, we move on to question number 9. How much less is 28 kilometer than 42.6 kilometer? Here you can see how did I read it. The digits before the decimal point we read normally as we read the other integers or whole numbers or natural numbers. 
42.6 here it's 28 kilometer i don't have any digits after decimal point that is i don't have any digits of meters in the first case that is 28 kilometer so when i'm going to express it in kilometer in decimal form then for kilometer i have 28 for meter i'm going to put 0. so here you can see i have to compare i have to just subtract to get how much less okay so 42.6 kilometer is bigger 42.6 kilometer minus 28 i am going to put under the integer part so 42.6 minus 28.0 and i have got 14.6 kilometer so this much less is going to be 28 kilometer from 42.6 kilometer so that's the end of exercise 2.5 Next, we are coming up with exercise 2.6 and 2.7. 2.6 is all about multiplying the whole numbers with 10, 100 and 1000. Multiplying whole numbers with 10, then multiplying the whole numbers with 100, or multiplying the whole number with 1000 and a whole number with a decimal number 2.7 is also that exercise where we are going to divide but before we move on to 2.7 let's see what 2.6 exercise tells you okay so here you can see exercise 2.6 now before we go through all the sums i would like to tell you here the exercise is very easy and uh, i'm going to explain you few sums i'm going to solve it for you but rest of the sums you are going to do it as a self practice and it's compulsory because when i'm going to collect your classwork notebook that is the practice notebook or the notebook which you are writing all the sums for checking that time you will find it difficult if you don't solve the sums along with the explanation if you leave it to do it later on then you will never be able to complete it so it's better once you watch the video then you open pdf see the method copy down the sums which i have done it for you and then the sums which i have left it for your practice you do it immediately so that you don't have to face any kind of problem in the later see there are two methods when you multiply a whole number with a decimal number one you can go like this 0 0.2 remove the decimal convert the decimal number expression into a fraction one after point we have one decimal place so 10 we will put below 2 2 by 10 multiplied by 6 and then 2 6 are 12 12 by 10 1 0 so you count from right hand side one digit and put the point or else very simple multiply simple multiplication 2 6 are 12 and how many decimal place is there you count here you have one decimal place so finally in the answer we have to put uh, we have to leave one decimal place after the decimal point so from right hand side we'll count one digit and then you put the point so 1.2 will be the final answer directly from here to here you can jump it's your choice okay now you can see the second sum 8 multiplied by 4.6 so you can do 46 multiplied by 8 here also you have only one decimal place here you don't have any 
decimal place so in all we have one decimal place so in the answer from behind from right hand side we will count one digit and put the point from right hand side we have to count shift it towards the you are not shifting it actually you are putting the decimal point in this case otherwise you have a procedure 4.6 that means one decimal place so we will remove the point and put 10 in the denominator place 46 by 10 8 into 46 you do you have in both the cases you have to multiply right and divide by 10 put point just before 8 leaving one digit so 36.8 you don't have to count it from here but you have to count it from right hand side not from the left hand side but from the right hand side of the number you have to count the decimal place and put the decimal point similarly you have to do 4 5 6 and 7 and i have also done the third sum for you okay and these are the sums for self practice here you have the word problem right find the area of rectangle whose length is 5.7 centimeter and breadth is 3 centimeter right area you know formula of area of rectangle will be length into breadth so you have to multiply 5.7 which is the length with the breadth 3 centimeter multiplication as i explained you you can multiply simply and uh, put the decimal point here you have only one decimal place count the number of decimal place and put the decimal point from the right hand side of the number so i have counted from right hand side of the number one and then i put decimal point 17.1 square centimeter is the area of the given rectangle okay now we come with multiplying a decimal number with 10 then we will have a question where you are going to multiply with 100 and then with 1000. So in this question I have just solved few for you and the rest I have kept it for self practice. So children please don't complain. It's not a request actually. I would say there is no need of complaining. Ki bhai teacher ne sare sums karke nahi diye. ये सारे सम्स बहुत ही आसान है इसलिए मैंने कुछ करके दी है कुछ आप प्रैक्टिस करो ओके मैथ्स इज नॉट अ मैटर ऑफ मैटर ऑफ मगिंग अप आप इसको लर्न बाय हार्ट नहीं कर सकते जिस तरह से आप पोएम करते हो या फिर कोई क्वेश्चन आंसर करते हो ये आपको समझ के ही करना होगा और बहुत ही आसान है and I'm not telling you that you have to stick to the method I'm teaching you. You can also follow the method if somebody is there at home to teach you in your own language. Okay, you are free to choose the method. Okay, let's begin with multiplying with 10. Kuch nahi karna hai. 1.3 matlab 13 by 10 multiplied by 10. 10 और 10 कैंसिल हो गए तो आंसर रहा 13 या तो फिर आप एक काम कर सकते हो इसको स्किप कर दो हम जब 10 से मल्टीप्लाई करते हैं तो हम देखो कि एक ही जीरो है तो ये जो डेसिमल पॉइंट है ये शिफ्ट हो जाएगा टुवर्ड्स विच साइड लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ये डेसिमल पॉइंट शिफ्ट होगा टुवर्ड्स द बैक साइड और द लेफ्ट हैंड Oh, sorry, it is going to shift towards the right hand side. It's a mistake, a slip of tongue. It's not going to be towards the left hand, uh, left hand side, but it's going to move towards right hand side. It will move how many digit? It depends on the zero we have multiplied. 10 has only one zero. So decimal point will move towards the right hand side. One digit. So it's going to be 13. Point पीछे चला गया, 3 के बाद हो आ गया, और ये हुआ answer 13.0 या तो फिर 13 या तो फिर सर लिख सकते हो 13.0 या 13. Okay? अब देखो यहाँ पे 36.8 multiplied by 10. तो हमने क्या किया traditionally? इस decimal point को remove किया, 
एक ही प्लेस है सो हम टेन से डिवाइड करेंगे टेन मल्टीप्लाई यहाँ पे टेन से मल्टीप्लाई हुआ है टेन एंड टेन गेट्स कैंसल सो यू गेट थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एट इन अदर वर्ड्स एज यू आर मल्टीप्लाइंग विथ टेन ओनली वन डेसिमल वन डिजिट इट विल मूव टूवर्ड्स द राइट हैंड साइड सो ये पॉइंट खिसक के इस तरफ आ गया तो हो गया आपके पास थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एट उसके बाद आप पॉइंट लगाओ चाहे ना लगाओ अगर पॉइंट लगाते हो तो फिर आपको ज़ीरो इन द डेसिमल प्लेस लगाना होगा ओके अदरवाइज यू कैन राइट थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एट बिकॉज दिस टेन एंड दिस टेन गेट्स कैंसल ओके लेट्स मूव लेट्स सी द फिफ्थ एंड द सेवेंथ सम विच हैज़ सिमिलर नंबर टू बी मल्टीप्लाइड इन बोथ द केसेस वी हैव हंड्रेड ओके थर्टी वन पॉइंट वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई हंड्रेड ट्रेडिशनली वॉट वी हैव डन थ्री हंड्रेड इलेवन बाई टेन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई हंड्रेड वन जीरो गेट्स कैंसल टेन गेट्स कैंसल रिमेन्स टेन ओवर हियर इन द न्यूमरेटर प्लेस सो वी हैव थ्री हंड्रेड इलेवन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन गिवज यू थ्री थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड टेन और एल्स हाउ मेनी डिजिट्स दिस डेसीमल पॉइंट इज गोइंग टू मूव टूवर्ड्स द right hand side as i told you when you multiply by 10 100 or 1000 the decimal point gets shifted towards the right hand side so you have two zeros so two digit it will move one digit already is there how many digit is remaining one more digit in that place we are going to put zero the missing digit we are putting zero you can skip two step shifting work you can do carry out and you can do it otherwise without any mistake you can conclude to the correct answer if you follow this method okay decimal place 1 so divide by 10 yahan pe do digit dikh rahe hain so divide by 100 yahan pe question mein to multiply kar hi rahe ho aap 100 se ye 100 aur ye 100 cut ho gaya so you have 4307 यहाँ पे देखिए 0.03 पॉइंट जीरो थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थाउजेंड टू डेसिमल प्लेसेस सो हंड्रेड आप लगाओगे उसके नीचे थ्री के नीचे मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थाउजेंड दो जीरो कट हो गए रहा थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन सो थ्री टेन जा थर्टी सो होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड राइट बट स्टिल इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन गो थ्रू द पी डी एफ एंड स्टिल यू फील you need to hear me again you can click on to the link and see the video again and again and fir bhi agar aapko aisa lage ki jo sums maine self practice ke liye diya hai aapko meri madad ki zarurat hai you need my help then you can give me call or you can text me in our class group 7 standard group is that clear let's move on to the word problem question number 4 a two wheeler covers a distance of 55.3 km in 1 liter of petrol how much distance will it cover in 10 liters of petrol okay very simple distance covered by a two wheeler in 1 liter petrol that's 55.3 km now distance covered by it in 10 liters of petrol so 10 multiplied by 55.3 so you can see uh, the calculation and we have got 553 kilometers here we come with product of two decimal numbers very simple it is you just have to do the multiplication as you multiply two digits with a single digit number or two digit with a another two digit number and you have to count the decimal places of both the digits you can see here 2.5 multiplied by 0.3 right 25 multiplied by 3 i have done count here one decimal place and here one decimal place so 1 plus 1 two decimal places in all we have and so in the answer we will count two digits from right hand side 1 2 and we'll put the point 0.75 okay 
and the second way of doing is i will express the decimal numbers both the decimal numbers in the fraction form 2.5 will be written as 25 by 10 multiplied by 0.3 will be written as 3.10 and what do you get you get 25 3 is a 75 and 75 by 100 10 10 is a 100 two zeros tells you it should have two decimal places after decimal point so one two and then you put the point 0 0.75 two methods both the methods are there in front of you you can follow any one of it here we have we come with the sixth sum directly See 11.2 multiplied by 0 0.15. So, one decimal place in 11.2 and two decimal places in 0 0.15. So, total how many decimal places are there? 1 plus 2 equal to 3. Right? So, here you can see I have multiplied this one. You can see 112 I have multiplied with 15. I have started multiplication, multiplying with the digits place. 5 2s are 10, 5 1s are 5 plus 1 6. Okay. And then I have taken the tens place. So, 112 divided by 10. Why? Because there is one decimal place. So, I have divided by 10, multiplied by 0 0.15. Two decimal places. So, you will divide by 100. So, your question um, is solved out. Wow, how much what we have to put in the denominator place to remove the decimal point thing is that while you remove the decimal point you have to check the decimal places here you have one decimal place so put 10 you have two decimal place put 100 in the denominator place then multiply 112 with 15 and now you have 10 into 100 you have 1000 three zeros in the denominator place and finally you will count three digit from right hand side of the number and put the decimal point 1 2 3 point so 1.680 ok otherwise the way I told you multiply 112 with 15 in the simple way we do it and then count the decimal places here 1 and here 2 1 plus 2 equal to 3 so 3 decimal places 1 2 3 and you put the point 1.680 this way you have to calculate rest of the sums and so you have 3rd, 4th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th for self practice. Very simple you can see 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.05. So what I did 5 5s are 25. 1 decimal place over here, 2 decimal place over here, total 3 decimal place. So, 1, 2, 3, point, 0 0.025.